Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and I am your cruise director on the Magical Mystery Tour. We are down to the last day of the Huda Palette Lucky Dip. Whew. So before we get to it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell to be alerted to any new uploads and if you like this video at the end please give it a big thumbs up. Let's get to it. Don't have to draw a piece of paper out of a bag today because the last palette we have is the naughty palette this is one of the 18 pan palettes made in italy so there are nine mattes eight shimmers and then this funky one which i'm not even going to talk about so we have a lot of really warm textures all of this leans around a pink i've done a lot of pink and rosy with gold looks so today I think I'm going to hang around this sort of area so let's get to it I might actually be able to read today going in with the shade hypnotic tapping off and into the other side so it'd be really easy to lean into those sort of rosy burgundy colours. And I think you'll have noticed once we went through a few palettes like that, if I had a palette that had these sorts of shades in it and then lean into something else, I was trying to move into something else. Otherwise, every single look would just end up being exactly the same, which is no fun for anyone. So tickling that out and of course tomorrow we will have the rankings I have to sit down and think about that after as to which one was my favorite because funnily enough when I started this um, what I would have thought what going into this was my favorite is not actually going to be my favorite th anymore Revisiting them has done that. Going into this really warm shade here, I think. So I have surprised myself by my feelings for really drastically changing, I guess, for some of these palettes. And that's okay, you know, we our tastes change as time goes on. I go through phases where I like really super bright, vibrant eyeshadows. And then I go through stages where I want to play it really safe and neutral. Back into this first colour. And just... You can see the difference blending that out a bit. Now this is quite a burgundy, this is more brown. I actually think I'm going to stick into here. This is a weird, um, it's sort of not a matte, it's sort of a satin matte. Satin, satin matte. And we'll start with this and see if I wanna go deeper still. And I'm poking into more of the darker part of this. I think this is going to work for what I want. and just on the outer corner so this is a marbled if you have a look it's quite a marbled shade and I've been poking into that darker bit but now to blend it out I'm going into more of the caramel part of it and what we'll do is we'll use that to help blend this You can see that's pulled down the tonality of that a little bit. And allowing us to blend again into the lighter part of the marble. Working around the edge of that to start. And then we go over. And that was a really simple blend. 
Now we can go between the two, just swiping across and just tucking into that groove there. Again. Keeping this fairly simple today. Right, now, okay, this gold was a weird, it wasn't a shimmer at all. It was a combination of like a gel and a powder finish and it's starting to dry out. I'm not really that fussed on that. Okay, across the top of the eye, I'm going in with this here. This here is a bit of a duochrome. It's just from a gold to a burgundy, but I'm going in with this across the top of the lids. So we're really trying to keep away from that rose. But who knows, we could end up diving into that in a minute. might do it under the eye. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Now, the issue that I have is I feel like this has gotten a little bit muddy. So, in order to fix that, I am going to dive into this brown to give it a bit more depth. And just tapping that. And then this is the brush that we used originally on that area. I haven't even so much as cleaned it off. I just want to bring a bit of depth back to it. Now, this is a trick. We go from doing that to dropping it down. And just, it allows us to be a lot gentler on the blend. And smooth that out. Just tapping in, you know the drill. Just tapping in over the top there gently. And then into that first one again. Now the inner corner, I am not sure what we... That's not really... Have a bit of an issue with the inner corner. So I think... We just may use this for now. It's just not as light as I would like it. And just that. Mm. Okay, we'll use this. I'm not real excited about the finish of this now that it's drying out. But look, it'll work because it is lighter. It's just not really, it's a bit flat looking. I've just lined my eyes with a bronzy liner. Now I think I was keeping away from this burgundy, but I actually think we need to give it a bit of dimension. So I'm going into this sort of burgundy here. See, we are allowed to change our minds. And using this as a liner, Now for under the eye, I'm going to go in here and we'll use this to diffuse. We're still keeping it up quite tight because, you know, sometimes I like to really bring it right, right down this, but I'm pushing it into the lashes to break down that. It's not a huge colour contrast. I just think it gives it a bit more dimension to the look than had I have used the same shades I was using above. And keep going with that. See, I've gone a little bit lower on that one. Which means over on here as well. Cleaning off my brush. I'm just going into this pink up here. Now you wouldn't think to use the pink when we've used such warm colours on the top 
but we can do that. So that is where we were at. Look, it was simple. Um, this palette has a nice, I think this is one of her safer, safer palettes. Um, we've got these really sort of warm tones here, like along here in particular. You've got a really amazing shimmer at red. She's got this in some of her palettes. This is not anything new. I mean, we're finding these in a lot of her palettes. What I don't like about this palette, this shade here, which was sort of a gel and then gold, that's drying out. This is dried out. This was just should never have been in there. This I'm not is a bit chunky. So I like it. I don't love it. What I'm going to do now is go and do mascara and lips and I'll be right back. Right, so this is where we ended up. I ended up going with a bit of a strong lip. I'm feeling a bit of a 90s vibe here with this look, to be honest. Um, I think it's the tonalities of the browns that are used in it. Um, it's nice. Can you tell I'm not blown away today? So it was a way to end it. I do like it, but I think, I think the issue is, is I can feel myself starting to move out, wanting to move out of these safe, neutrally sort of tones that I've got on. We are starting to enter, we're in spring. Like we're in spring, we're finally starting to get some better weather. So what that means for me is I want to start playing in color again. And I didn't realise until I did this. And this, I've been happy with this all winter. I'm ready to come out of my cocoon. How about you? It's nice. It's safe. So, I want to start playing. That is it, my friends. What we've got coming up tomorrow is I'm going to sit down and start thinking about what order I want to put these in for my favourites. So this is it. Until next time, don't forget to tell your mum, tell your sister, tell your friends, come along, hang out. Make sure you tell me any brands that you are interested in me doing something like this with. Until next time, my loves, take care. Bye.